The title of the show is Infinite Lineage, and my name is Alicia Zanoni Lawrence. I am a landscape painter. I have considered myself an oil landscape painter, but I can't really say that anymore. Initially, I was inspired by nature for this show and by the cycles of life that I was seeing in nature. I was sensing connections between ourselves as humans and the earth, and I was trying to, trying to figure out what those connections were, but I could just feel that they were there. As I've been a landscape painter, I've often described us as humans as having internal landscapes. So this is a connection I've felt for a while, and it's motivated my work for a while. By internal landscape, I mean we have foggy days, we have sunny days. Um, so I've always felt that connection to landscape, but this became a little bit broader of the earth in general. A tree dropping a seed on the ground became this thing of fascination for me as I compared it to my experience of like bringing life into the world through this pregnancy. The piece that I started at the beginning and I finished near the end is probably the piece that's guided the, connect the, the collection and it's called The Cycle of Life, and in parentheses it says The Loss of the Fear of Death. In this piece there is a set of antlers um, that's connected to an animal that's passed on, um, and then in the background of the piece are several deer that are alive and they're drinking from this stream. So I wanted to juxtapose those two images of, of life currently, life past. And then on that set of antlers is a bird, um, and then there is a nest in the in the like brush in the foreground that has eggs in it that's also connected to the bird. Um, so I wanted to visually represent these different cycles of life throughout this piece. There are a number of pieces in this show that are very textured. I, I really don't mind if people even touch them. Like I don't mind if people go up to a piece and feel it because it's 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 more than just something to see. It's something to to, to touch, but I thought a lot about material in this show. I thought about what materials signify, why they're important. Um, there's this image in my mind of, of a grandparent maybe holding a baby and how different their skin looks, how the baby's skin is just totally untouched by life and the grandparent's skin represents years of time and layers of experiences. Actually, this show, in the material aspect of it, a lot about skin. So the paper that I, I used, I stained with tea. I crumpled it up so that it had a, like a, a worn and lived in experience just by the process of being kind of like crumpled and the fibers broken down. Um, and I thought a lot about skin as I, as I thought about that paper. I wanted the paper to represent um, time and history. 